Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. My, male 21, best friend P, female 22, is dating my high school bully and I'm cutting her out of my life. As stated in the title. For the last three years I, male 21, have regarded a girl, let's call her P, female 22, to be my closest friend. P has seen a lot of what I've been going through. In particular, since I refused to forgive my cousin for having a relationship with my then-girlfriend four years ago, I was ostracized by my family. P was the one who assisted me in getting through it all, and I had complete faith in her that she would never hurt me. Nonetheless, here I am. She was at my house the other night, and we were drinking together. Her skills are lacking, so she decided to let her guard down and confess to having a connection with my high school bully, who was at the time her best friend. I feel she is aware of what he, male 22, to be precise, has done to me since we were all in the same class. In the aftermath of my family's rejection of me, particularly since my cousin was a member of his organization, he became much meaner. He and his merry band of henchmen were verbally and physically hostile to me on a regular basis. The school was informed of my dissatisfaction, but we all know how helpful they are in these circumstances. Aside from that, since I was not there to defend myself, Nothing was done to protect my parents, and my life became even more horrible as a result. P was the only one who was able to keep me together when I was disowned and forced to move in with her parents. Because of this, she has personal experience of the misery that individual caused me to go through. Getting back to the issue at hand, after she had gone to sleep in my guest bedroom, I don't think her realization of what she had confessed to set in. My state of mind was so disoriented that I couldn't sleep so I went to stay with a college friend. P must have realized what she confessed to last night because she has been inundating my phone with calls and texts since. My, male 21, best friend P, female 22, is dating my high school bully and I'm cutting her out of my life. As stated in the title, for the last three years, I, male 21, have regarded a girl, let's call her P, female 22, to be my closest friend. P has seen a lot of what I've been going through. In particular, since I refused to forgive my cousin for having a relationship with my then-girlfriend four years ago, I was ostracized by my family. P was the one who assisted me in getting through it all, and I had complete faith in her that she would never hurt me. Nonetheless, here I am. She was at my house the other night, and we were drinking together. Her skills are lacking, so she decided to let her guard down and confessed to having a connection with my high school bully, who was at the time her best friend. I feel she is aware of what he, male 22, to be precise has done to me since we were all in the same class. In the aftermath of my family's rejection of me, particularly since my cousin. Then, as I write this, my phone has been taken away by a friend, and I am typing on his phone, apologies for any mistakes. I'm really contemplating terminating her employment at this point. She means a great deal to me, but I'm unable to be with her at this time. But I'm not sure whether I'm being unfair in this situation. Could you please be of assistance to me? Modify, because I don't know how to edit posts in this sub. I'll just tell you what I know about the subject here instead. To acquire her point of view on the subject, I've decided to meet with her the following day. At the very least, I need to achieve that level of success. I'll also get to the bottom of your questions tomorrow. Thank you so much for all you've done for me. I had no clue there would be so many people prepared to provide a hand when I needed it. Update. In any event, as many of you kind people had suggested, I met with her the next day to get to know her better and learn more about her perspective. However, on the advice of others, I did not go on my journey alone. In addition to myself, I was joined by two of my college friends. The first time I stepped into the cafe where we were supposed to meet, I had absolutely no clue what I was thinking or feeling. However, when I met her, it seemed like she had been crying nonstop all night. As I neared P, she rose to her feet to hug me. This is how we usually greet each other. But I gently pushed her away and continued walking. I could see she was in discomfort, but I felt it myself. My buddies took their seats at the adjacent table and P and I immediately struck up a conversation. She could barely form sentences as she apologized after sorry after apologizing their relationship had lasted more than a year rather than three months. 
Yup. She had been misleading me for a year when I finally caught up with her. It was then that she spoke the words that the majority of you had expected she would say. P. He's undergone a significant transformation. You should get to know him me. Really, you should. How could you say that after all he's gone through for me? You are aware that I am still scarred as a result of what he did to me, aren't you? What was the purpose of engaging in conversation with him in the first place? P. He wanted to express his regret to you for what he had done, but he lacked the strength to do so at the time. After then, the conversation went around in circles. In light of the fact that the two of them had been embroiled in a dialogue, he wished to express his regret. However, she was unable to provide an answer to my one question. Why him? Someone walked over to us and took up a position next to her at this point. Do you have any ideas who it may have been? Yup. My bully, let's call him M for short, was the root of the issue. Afterwards, I'm not sure what happened, but there was a lot of yelling, and then M became enraged and tried to attack me for allegedly making his woman cry. P was keeping a close watch on the situation. Because I wasn't in the right state of mind at the time, the punch came right at me. My friends rushed over to help, but I knocked them out before they could do any damage. When I was in high school, I used to be little and fragile. Nonetheless, I developed significantly in the preceding several years, both in height and weight. Fortunately, my friends intervened and stopped me from doing something I would later come to regret. Even though P was sobbing the whole time, she never came over to see how I was getting on. It was at that point that I realized our friendship had come to an end. I gave her one final glance and said, too much for a change, don't you think? My buddies and I then walked out of the cafe. All of my excitement and rage vanished, and I began weeping like I was back in high school. I'm not proud of it, but my pals were really helpful. The days after the meet were exhausting since I was busy moving in with my buddies. I didn't believe it was proper for me to stay in the apartment I was living in since it belonged to Peace Parents. However, before leaving, I contacted them and informed them about the fight and that I was going. They were taken aback and promised me that their daughter would not give me any problems. However, I refused. I was living there while paying them the very minimum of rent, and I didn't believe it would be a good idea for me to reside anywhere P might locate me. I thanked them for all they had done for me over the years and assured them that our friendship remained the same. I could see it was difficult for all of us but this was a necessary goodbye. So here I am, living with my college mates, who also celebrated my birthday the night before. It was a fantastic celebration that was also entirely unexpected. After all, for the first time in my life, I forgot about my birthday in the midst of all this chaos. P attempted to contact and text me on my birthday. However, I did not respond to or read her messages. So I believe that's all. I'm still saddened by the loss of my closest friend, but I know it's for the best for both of us. On a more good side, I was notified that I have been chosen for a student exchange program, so if the pandemic permits, I will be going to Singapore in a few of months. If you have any queries, please post them in the comments section. Story 2. Cheating Husband with Coworker Around a month ago, I learned that my husband had been having an affair with his colleague. When I discovered what he had done and questioned him about it, he decided to abandon our child and me in order to be with her. My husband and I have been married for more than 12 years at this point, ha sweethearts. We have a kid that is nearly two years old. Because he spends the most of his time at work, he spends the majority of his time with her as well. This was painstakingly thought out by them. She ejected herself from her relationship with her seven-year-old lover and told my husband that she loved and desired him. Of course, he eventually gave in. Our daughter was a complete and utter daddy's girl. In spite of my several attempts to persuade him otherwise, he continues to reject them because he desires her and is in love with her. I feel like my whole world is crumbling around me, and I'm not sure where I'd be if it weren't for my child, for whom I'm battling, who is the reason I'm fighting. Our marriage was not without its flaws, but we were able to split on amicable terms. Even today, I'm perplexed as to why this occurred, and I'd want to know what I did wrong, since my child and I did not deserve what he did to us. Update. It has been established that he was responsible for this girl's pregnancy. I genuinely want full custody of my child since he abandoned her 
and has not provided for our daughter financially since he left. Any thoughts or advice on how I may be able to get full custody? Having done some study, it seems that I have a fair chance of obtaining it. We now reside in California 